The federal court here has sentenced former Selangor Menteri Besar Dr. Muhammad Kirdoyo to a year in prison for buying two plots of land and a bungalow for himself at a way lower price. Dr. Kir, in committing this offence, will be losing his pension and be sent to the Kajang prison. The five-panel judge said his offence was not light enough for a community service sentence because he has taken advantage of his official position. Dr. Kier looked calm throughout the sentencing and had about 70 supporters who came to the court. His counsel, Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, however, said this will not be the end of his case. You can see that every one of the counsel are shocked by the finding of guilt. Why? Because we are absolutely confident the federal court is wrong. Okay? We are extremely confident on this. All right? So we are shocked. Uh, in terms of sentence, uh, although I was expecting a, a more lenient sentence, because he paid. You're, you're only saying that he didn't pay enough. It is not like, you know, I take a bribe. It is something uh, on sentence, uh, if you apply the principle strictly about whether the lower court is uh, manifestly wrong, that means the sentence is manifestly inadequate or not. Of course, you can always uh, justify it uh, to, to stick to the original one. I'm going to apply for a pardon or review for the decision. Okay. okay, okay. okay. Right. okay. I cannot say anything at this moment because the judgment, written judgment, mm -hmm. has not been released. They're supposed to release it today, but apparently there is some hiccup. They, have not, they are not releasing it. We hope they release it quickly. Once they release, uh, I will tell you and I will hold another press conference. But definitely, we are filing for contempt against the Sun. That's for sure. Okay? That's one thing that Dr. Sri Toyo wants us to file. From memory, 22nd and 28th. 22nd? Huh? 25th and 28th. This is in the Sun. The first article by R. Nadez Warren. The second article, which is worse, uh, the sun has hidden behind no byline. With one case down, another lawsuit surfaces. Let us see how Dr. Kier survives through this difficult time. <laughs>